Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super happy that you're here today and today we are doing a very late night, very cozy tour of this winter island named Jade Woods. So right now it is near midnight where I am and I wasn't quite ready to go to sleep so I have my heated blanket and I am super super cozy here in my house and I just thought that this would be the perfect time to tour this gorgeous gorgeous island. Jade Woods was created by Taylor aka Isle of Noyo over on Instagram. Definitely go and check out her work. I have been closely following her progress here on Jade Woods and I have been feeling so inspired as I work on my own winter island and at one point I was actually considering deleting my island because I wanted to do something a little bit more natural like she was doing here. So I'm so excited to be sharing this island with you guys today. She has this gorgeous blue airport which is just perfect for this theme. I wonder how many resets she had to do in in order to get that blue airport. We are greeted by this gorgeous little snowflake sign here, which is such a cute little detail. I love this pathing as well. It just looks like little plops of snow everywhere. Oh my goodness, I'm already so overwhelmed by all of the gorgeous things to see. So I'm headed out to the beach, I guess, first, which I don't typically do, but look at these little mittens here on the beach. This is so cute. She's actually created a little building here using the storefront item and that little like gazebo. I can't even remember what it's called, but that's very convincing, very, very creative. And there's this cozy little spa area out here. This is gorgeous. I love the inclusion of the tambourine. It's such a cute item. There are just so many little details here. And the customization of this house is gorgeous. I love the dark tones with the blue door. That is stunning. And we have this little parking lot over here as we enter the tree farm. Look at Molly. Oh my gosh. She is just too precious. I love the shed and the sled, not to rhyme, but even the chainsaw. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Look at the baby tree, you guys. I can't. I can't. This is so precious. And then she surrounded this whole area by the plain party lights. And that just gives it such a cozy and kind of whimsical feel. Oh my goodness. This island already is precious. I love this custom pathing. This isn't a real weed. That's the path. Wow. That's insane. That is absolutely insane but we have this giant campfire here right in front of resident services i love all the little food items that she's placed out around the campfire and these blue custom designs on all the cushions they're just precious i love this stone pathing and then look at these little patchwork seats these are so cute kind of an unexpected use of those seats but they look gorgeous and we have this little creek running through here Oh my gosh, this island is insane already. I'm just overwhelmed. We have a little camping area here on the beach. I feel like the blue theme that she has going on in this island is so well done. It's not over the top, yet it's just enough. It's so, so beautiful. I love this home here. This is so perfect with the little yacht by the beach and this gorgeous, gorgeous volleyball court. It's about time that we had a volleyball court in the game. And I think I just saw her, yeah, her character walk by. Aspen, welcome. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love the little outfit that character is wearing. And then we'll head through here. I love all of the plain party lights on this island. It just gives it such a cozy vibe, especially because the winter time isn't super well lit in the game. So that's particularly perfect. Look at all these little food trucks. This is so cute. I love how easy this island is to navigate as well. It's absolutely so, so cozy. We have so many winding paths as well, but the flow is perfect. We have a little cabin here. Oh, I love how rustic this is. The paint cans, the scaffolding. I love the shed that she's created there and this like very rustic kind of broken down car. This is so beautiful. And the grass, the wheat item. I keep calling it grass, but I guess it's really called a wheat field. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's like a little ski shack. How perfect though. I love this like little entryway there. Kind of giving us the door. And then all these cars and their little parking spots. This is so cute. And Poppy and her hat. All of the villagers on this island are so cute. 
Oh my gosh, I just realized I never showed you guys the map. I'm terrible. This is what I get for doing late night tours, I guess, but here is the map for Jade Woods. We have two characters on this island, Taylor and Aspen, who we actually met already. And the villagers are Judy, Marshall, Poppy, Molly, Bill, Pate, Gonzo, Filbert, Ozzy, and Sylvana. A couple of villagers I don't think I've seen in a really long time here. I always love seeing new villagers or villagers that just aren't, um, I guess, aren't used as often. It's always really refreshing, but here is this gorgeous map for Jade Woods. Oh, that's so beautiful. We have a little pond here. I love the ducks in the pond. And this is going to be Nook's Cranny. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these ducks. I'm kind of ruining the pond illusion a little bit by walking on it, but this pathing is gorgeous as well. And the nook's cranny tucked in with all of these medieval building sides and the castle gate. I love the storefronts kind of lining the area as well. It gives it a very rustic feel kind of fits um, nooks in with the overall vibe of this island super well, especially with the windmill there. Another beautiful, beautiful item. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to walk on the pond, so I'm just going to come back this way, I think, um, and we'll just kind of continue on. I'm sure that I've missed some things on the first level down here. I love this water terraforming as well. I love these tiny little oval ponds. They're so cute. But here is a little cabin and an ice fishing area. This is so creative. This custom design is incredible. Look at that tiny little baby tree. And I just noticed these little paws, these little animal paws, toe beans. Oh, they're so cute. And there's another cabin right next door. Oh my goodness. I love how overgrown and natural this is. Oh my gosh. And we have like a little, a little snow angel area and sledding area. And of course, a place to kind of warm up by the fire after you sled. And it looks like somebody went a little bit too far and made their way onto the beach and lost their mittens. That is so cute. So, so cute. Down here, we have a cozy little reading area. Looks like somebody was, you know, taking some photos or maybe doing some scrapbooking, which is so cute. I love this custom design here on the beach. It really makes it look like snow piles. I really wish we had snow piles in the game, so that's super perfect. And then we have our campsite here. I love the blue and pink flowers, and she's added in so many of these little baby stunted trees. I am seriously obsessed. I really love these little white flowers that she has. Um, this custom design that looks so good, especially with the snow. I love that so much. So many gorgeous details and all these little snow piles on the beach. It's such a great way to decorate the beach. And then we have a cozy little pier over here. This is so gorgeous. Love this little custom design. It looks like a rug. It's so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I am just in love with this island. And then we have another villager home over here with all sorts of presents and kind of Christmassy elements. We even have some cookies set out here, which is so, so cute. I wonder, should I be running up the beach right now? Okay, so I just ran up the beach a little bit here and we have this gorgeous little collection of items. I love the little baby stroller here. We've got the grapes set out. And then over here on the beach rack, we have a cozy little place to do some outdoor cooking. I love the butterfly here. So many cute little areas on the beach rocks. I just feel like she's left no stone unturned, no pun intended. I absolutely love this custom design that she's placed underneath the sled and this little rubber duck sitting up here. This is so cute. Very quack core, very on brand for this channel, but I'm going to go ahead and run back and I'll catch you guys where we left off on the mainland. All right, so I went ahead and crossed over that little pond there by Nook's Cranny, and we have another villager home here with the most quaint little area to sit outside. I love the pancakes item. I can't get over the new food items, you guys. They are so, so precious. We'll just kind of meander down here, I guess, really quickly. We have another character's tent. I'm a little bit turned around, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's because I'm doing this tour at night. Um, 
<laughs> I'm getting a little bit sleepy or what it is. Oh, okay. So we're right behind where those food trucks are. That helps a ton. I can't get over those mittens custom designs and this gorgeous lake. This is so beautiful. We have a little diagonal bridge moment leading to the tent. I want to see if this tent is decorated. Oh my gosh, how cozy is this? I'm so happy I came in here. That is so beautiful. I feel like it's so difficult to decorate these little tents because you can't really add any wallpaper or anything like that, but this is just so beautiful. I would love to stay in this tent. I feel like this is very glamping for sure. So I do kind of want to wander over to the other side of this lake. Let's see if we can kind of squeeze our way in. Oh, look at this gorgeous little outdoor bathroom area. That is so beautiful. I felt like there were some things over here to the left of the lake maybe. So over here is to the right of resident services and we have this gorgeous little building here. It's so cute with the telephone booth and then we'll head up this incline. This is so cute. A little Christmas market. Stop it. That is gorgeous. I love all of these items together. And these blue storefronts with Able Sisters. Oh my gosh, who knew that that looked, was going to look so good? That's incredible. Oh, I love it. And then we even have like a little blue accent here from the Evergreen Ash item. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, even the terraforming and this little bike here. It's so precious. Oh my gosh, Taylor, you did such a good job. So I'm going to run back up by the lake here and there was an incline over here. We're gonna go up this way. Oh my gosh, I just feel like she has paid attention to every little detail on this island. Like, look at this. This is the spray can, but it looks like a little thermos, like a hot chocolate or coffee thermos. Oh my gosh. And we are headed, oh my gosh to a ski mountain I can't this is so big brain oh my goodness looks like a little lodge over here this is beautiful for maybe the skiers to stay in I'm getting overwhelmed you guys a UPS truck a UPS truck <laughs> oh my gosh look at these Christmas lights that somebody has taken down Oh my gosh, this must be the kind of UPS warehouse because we have all these packages here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an amazing little detail. And we'll head through here. It looks like this is, this must be our ski mountain. Look at the pocket camper. Oh my gosh. This is so precious. What an amazing and creative idea. I love it so much. All right, we'll head up this incline here and it looks like we're gonna get a gorgeous little viewing opportunity here of this resident rep's home. Oh, I love that so much. It's just so cozy with all the snow coming down. Love everything about this island. Oh my goodness, I just keep getting overwhelmed because there are just beautiful areas everywhere. This island feels like it's so incredibly big. Look at this, like, is this like an outdoor, like, greenhouse or sauna kind of thing? That simple panel design is gorgeous. I love it so much. The glass of the windows on the design are incredible. And a little ice skating rink over here. I love it. I absolutely love it. And we even have the snowflakes in the background. So perfect. So her home is not decorated, so I'm just going to take in the gorgeousness of this exterior. I love all the little outdoor bathtubs on this island as well. It's such a cute touch, plus they add like a really cool like steam effect as well. Such a great idea. And I think that's it for this little corner over here. So. I'm gonna head back down around the lake and I'm gonna continue over to the left side of the island. All right, so we're gonna wander to the left of resident services. I think this is Taylor's character. Snow! <laughs> oh, that's super cute. I love her little knit beanie as well. 
it's so cute we are just behind the little tree farm i love the double bridge moment that we have going on over here and this is definitely marshall's home i love this little square of pathing here that she's placed for marshall's home this is so perfect, especially with all of the terraforming around it. So many adorable little blue accents as well. And we even have two yachts over. Marshall is so extra. This is so perfect for him. Oh my gosh. And we'll head on over to this other bridge here. I love the little tiny library. Almost looks like a mailbox in this setting. And we have a little storefront tucked into the cliff, which is so perfect. So many little building illusions and they're all so, so beautiful. And we're headed into the garden. So she's turned her museum into a garden slash plant store. I am so here for that. That is such a creative idea for the museum. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I love that. And I love all the storefronts kind of hiding the museum as well really incorporates it very well onto this island. And then it leads us to the peninsula. Look at the yarn balls in the glass jar, guys. And we have a little sewing area and the yarn sign. It's almost too much to take in. And then we have this gorgeous building on these rocks back here. Stop it, Taylor. You have outdone yourself seriously. <laughs> Oh no, it looks like somebody has gotten stuck in the snow back here. I hope that they have packed some warm clothes to wear. What a creative idea. I love how overgrown that area looks as well. So, so well done. All right, so we will head up this incline here. And seriously, is it just me or does this island feel so incredibly big? There's just so many beautiful details here. We have a gorgeous little sitting area with a little snow angel over here. And these blue colors are just so perfect for this time of year. I love it. The pops of pink are really lovely as well. Very unexpected kind of use of color, but it does look so, so nice on this island. Oh, look at this water terraforming. We get a little view of the post office or the UPS truck down there just delivering some packages so cute and we have what i think might be one of our last villager homes on this island i love the in-game dirt pathing in this time of year there's something about the cool tone dirt that just looks so good and then she's layered it with this gorgeous snow path love that so much and we have a little place to play chess which is so perfect and well, my friends, I think that is going to take us to the end of this tour of Jade Woods. Thank you so much, Taylor, for letting me tour this island. It is absolutely stunning, and I had so much fun wandering around today and admiring all the beautiful details that you've included here on your island. Before we say goodbye, I do want to take a second to thank the members of the Fox Paws and the Fox Fam. Thank you all so, so much for supporting my content here on this channel. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please do be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload. But thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!